Acts 12 verses 8 to 14 Peter's miraculous, miraculous escape from prison Last days we explain or discussing about the Peter were persecuted not for his material need not for uh, his healing in physical body not for any of his personal need just because of gospel just because of jesus christ so i was saying during that time that many of our persecution because i need two cars instead of one or i need two houses instead of one or if i need better um, job or better education that's uh, my persecution actually it's not for gospel it's not for jesus but that one we need and we need power from god i'm not against that but <clears throat> when we really say about the persecution and prayer we have to bring our spiritual need and uh, um, let name of god more respectful in the city that that may be the good prayer uh, that uh, we pray jesus your name let it be more respectful let it be more holy in my city let it be more and more pure in my city that may be a good prayer <clears throat> Here, angel, that's like a miraculous escape from the prison and angel appeared and miraculous escape from prison. Then after that, uh, Jesus came back to the uh, Mark house and uh, then he knocked the door. That was a little bit uh, like an interesting thing because um, the Rhoda, she recognized Peter was knocking and she just like so excited and she didn't even... Um, open it and she will run back and just say oh, uh, she told that um, Peter is outside but they were saying you are out of your mind and you must be his angel <laughs> then he said maybe that is his angel sometimes we also say that one okay do you see him maybe you never see maybe you see his angel it's like that uh, but Peter kept on knocking and when they opened the door they, he saw that um, and he explained all the stories and they encouraged each other uh, at that time. So in the morning there was no small commotion among the soldiers and um, Herod persecuted them. But so uh, the one thing mainly we can see that, you know, during such, that such a real difficult time when Peter was in persecution, Peter was in the jail and uh, others were praying. So if one person in, in the battlefield, then others going to pray so how many can we do that pattern or how many uh, of us can be to invite that pattern to our life if someone is going to the to the prayer for example we know that many leaders when a, one person is going to preach or one person is going for a some share the gospel how many are praying in the back end that's more important that when we are appearing in front of others if you just like a compress that one as a one person scenario i have to pray and uh, while even I am doing anything, we have to do with the prayer. That's why the Bible says that everything and everything do in prayer. And all the time be prayerful and to be life will be more pure and prayerful. Because without the prayer, we don't get the power to do anything. Then Peter showed himself. Peter appeared himself to them. They were astonished. So rather than a miraculous power, I'm more interesting about that miraculous power of human i'm more interesting about the unity that they built because they were so excited to see peter because they couldn't even believe because they were so worrying and they're just like maybe not worrying they're just like praying and expecting peter and what happening to peter and such a horrible time they were find that one an angel of god comfort them and they were more and more align each other may god bless you amen